Welcome back to Odin Does Drinks, people, my people, and tonight Odin is drinking Johnny Walker Red Label, which I understand is the least classy of all the Johnny Walker labels, and I lost count of what they as before. Now, I live in a country that is producing some wonderful booze at the moment, and some fantastic whiskies, and I've had the privilege of drinking Amber Lanes, I've drank Imbues, Chief Sun, um, I had a sip of something out of Brogan's Way, there is just some amazing whiskies, and let's face it, we all know we're about Johnny Walker, but how many of you would have tried the whiskies that I've just labelled? Yes, I know. Zach, thanks, mate. Um, so let's find out whether this stuff, which is market dominant, they sell gigalitres of a year, is actually any good. I have my doubts. Go and watch the other reviews, and you'll see the doubts in about a minute. Let's see how this baby works. Look, I think it's pretty fucking ordinary to be honest with you. This caramel, it burns, which whoop de fucking do. It proves it's overproof or thereabouts. But <clears throat> as I said before, I live in a country that is absolutely blessed with some truly stunning whiskies, and I suggest you go and watch the Amber Lane series because that stuff is absolutely fucking extraordinary. Um, Imbue Distillery, which is what 30 kilometers off to that direction um makes some absolutely fucking stunning whiskies um chief son just like likewise i can rave about the shame whiskies but i'm not gonna rave about this shit i mean honestly on johnny it's whiskey and you're scottish and you do a pretty fucking piss poor job of it i am not impressed at all how the fuck you guys actually achieve market dominance is due to some very very sharp advertising and more likely some very big advertising budgets but then again, I understand the Americans were drinking this shit by the leader during World War II because, well, I guess there was not, well, not much else to drink and they'd all tried English beer. So I guess compared to the average English beer, which I've drunk, this is pretty fucking special. But in terms of Australian drinks, um, go out, spend more money, try some of the local stuff, and I will put the links into the write-up because I think Johnny Walker is overrated shit. Just because it sells a lot doesn't particularly mean it's very good. It's like some car brands. They sell fucking shit tons. Why? Because they're cheap and, well, they get the job done. And I think Johnny Walker's the same way. It's pretty fucking ordinary. Thank you, people, my people. Subscribe, like, share. And I'll be giving you more upfront, honest opinion.